I read the report and I thought that if maybe they had a more first-hand understanding of the budgetary process in the Florida legislature and in most deliberative legislatures in the United States of America, they would have come to different conclusions. Uh, there's a lot of talk about what it says <laughs> relating to the appropriations process, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. One of the, their, their criticisms was that the appropriations process was too secret. Do you think it's too secret and it should be more open? I think it's, I, certainly this year, I think it's been much more transparent than it ever has been. Um, and that's my hope and expectation is that it continues to be more transparent going forward. I think this budget process is open, accessible to the public, uh, to the media, to all members of the legislature. We're being very careful with proviso language um, to, to not have any, any, um, any bills, language of bills, substantive bills that haven't been heard uh, inserted in that, in that language, certainly not at the last minute. Uh, but certainly I think all the, everything that's in the House and, and Senate budget, people have seen before. Well, the stem, cell, the stem cell issue is not really an expenditure item. The stem cell issue is proviso language that directs the executive branch on government on how money should or should not be spent. Well, I don't, I don't believe that that's the case. And, and if it is the case, then, then people should be held accountable for those actions. I don't think there's any nexus whatsoever between necessarily those contributions and what might be occurring in the budget process of the Florida legislature or any other legislature for that matter. We're talking about decisions that should be made in the best interest of the public uh, for the citizens and taxpayers of Florida, and that's exactly how I believe the members of the Florida legislature behave. I certainly hope so. I'm optimistic. I sure hope so. Okay.